Hi friends, Mr. Brian here, uh, he, him, and bring you some online learning for this week. But before we do anything, very important, um, I want to introduce my friends here as well. So um, first we have, I'm going to just point to one of you and hope that one of you takes a signal. Uh, there, we're there, we're there. Miss Anna. <laughs> I was going to say, I think it's different for Ms. Madison and me. Um, hi, my name is Miss Anna. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm excited to work with everybody today. I'm going to throw it to Ms. Madison. I'm Miss Madison, and I use she, her pronouns. And I'm also awesome. excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, before we do anything, uh, very, very important. I need you both and everyone watching. Uh, to get a cup of water, go, or a bottle, or a thing, and get hydrated. Pause if you must, pause the video, but do not come back until you have grabbed your water. Cool. Now here at the Quinn Street Project, or as I like to say, especially in today's lesson, the Quinn Street Project, like that, because it just gives it that extra oomph. Uh, we're all about drama. What is drama, you ask? Well, let me tell you, fake question. Telling a story using the three tools of the actor. All right, so repeat after me and do as I do. Body. Body. Voice. 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 Imagination. Imagination. And today's lesson is going to be all about specifically voice. We're talking about voice, but before we do that, uh, we got to meet everyone, but I also want to check in. I want to check in. So I want to see here, I want to just play with our voices a little bit and do some icky bicky. So if you've not played icky bicky before, uh, we're going to teach you. And when it is your turn, I would like you to tell me um, your favorite in the moment right now, uh, the song that you're thinking about the most, the song that you're thinking about the most. So I'm gonna give you like five seconds to think about. First thought, best thought, five, four, three, two, one. All right, and it goes like this. Repeat after me. And I'm gonna try and do this clapping as well. So icky bicky. Icky bicky. Icky. Icky bicky soda cracker. Icky, Icky Bicky, Bicky soda, soda Cracker. cracker. Icky Bicky Boo. Icky, Icky Bicky Boo. Icky Bicky Soda Cracker. Icky, Icky Bicky, Bicky soda, soda Cracker. Who are you? Who are, Who are you? you? And Miss Anna, I'm going to point to you. Tell us who you are and the song that you're thinking about. I am Miss Anna, I use she, her pronouns, and I've been thinking a lot about the song Wildflowers by Dolly Parton recently. Nice, nice, that's a good song. And one more time, Icky Bicky. Icky Bicky. Icky Bicky Soda Cracker. Icky Bicky Soda Cracker. Icky Bicky Boo. Icky Bicky Bicky Boo. Icky Bicky Soda Cracker. Icky, Icky Bicky Soda Cracker. Who are you? Who, who are, are you? you? And yeah. Um, I'm Miss Madison. I use she, her pronouns. And the song that's been in this gal's noggin uh, is Life on Mars by Mr. David Bowie. Oh, I love that Bowie. song. I really um, Let's go again. And let's go a little bit faster. Icky Bicky Soda Cracker. Icky Bicky Soda Cracker. Icky Bicky Boo. Icky Bicky Boo. Icky Bicky Soda Cracker. Icky Bicky Bicky Soda Cracker. Who are you? Who are, Who are you? you? Oh, me. Uh, my name is Brian. And the song I'm thinking about really a lot right now is Let's Go Crazy by Prince. And let's do it one more time. <laughs> Let's do it one more time and try and do it. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say as low as you can, as low as you can. Ready and icky bicky soda cracker. Icky bicky soda cracker. Icky bicky boo boo. 
Character Becker Ball. Icky Becky Soda Cracker. Icky Becky Soda Cracker. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? I'm sorry, <laughs> It's all good. I'm it's so all good. good. You get the giggles because your friends do such a good job. <laughs> and my friends. I want you now to share who you are. Laugh with us. Laugh with us. It's okay. If you're not, if we're not being silly, I'm not having fun. And if I'm not having fun, you're not having fun. So silly is good, my friends. And tell us who you are and what your favorite song or what song you're thinking about right now. I, I have heard that one. That is also, that's also iconic. All right. I've um, never heard that song and I'm really excited to look it up. Ooh, hydrate. Oh. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Now voice, 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 voice. Why it's important. Why, why? Oh, really, why? Well, let me tell you, all right? So it's very... Oh, uh, Mr. Brian? I think it's... Uh... I think I know what's happening. I think you, uh, I think you're muted, friend. Exactly. Voice is very important. We want to be heard. And then we also really want to make sure that we talk about everything. And then all those times. And then we want to make sure that we talk. Because when we go about we like, we like, we like, we like, Mr. Brian, we still can't hear you, but we, we can understand you. you. We can understand you. Exactly. We want to be heard and we want to be understood. In drama, especially drama, since we're here, the Quinn Entry Project, uh, drama, voice is crucial. That means. That's another word for important, crucial, important. Dr voice, either way, is important. In drama, we are storytellers, but it's no good if we're telling the story of well, any story and we can't say our lines and communicate to the audience, to the people listening. We reveal truths about characters in, in dialogue, in, uh, what our characters are saying when they're talking in a story and communicating. And, but not just drama, voice is communicating ideas, emotions, needs, being heard, and how? Well, we're gonna do an even deeper dive. Splash, what's the plan? We're gonna explore some key terms, all right? So repeat after me, because we're gonna define these and go into them, but I wanna just introduce, I wanna tease these. So repeat after me, breathing. 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 Phonation. Phonation. Resonance. 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 Articulation. Articulation. And warming up. Warming, warming up. up. And let me see here, my friend. And I want to just share this with you as well. So I'm going to put this right here. And there we go. Do, 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 do. And Excellent. And can we see this right here? Yes. All right. Ignore the many, very many tabs. That's just the life of a teacher. Breathing, phonation, resonance, articulation, and warming up. All right. And let's look into that a little bit more. And if you need to pause to look at that, that's all right too. But voice, voice. Uh, so what did you notice right here? What, what, what's, uh, how do I say this? Um, I'm sorry. What I want to do now is I, uh, I need to warm up myself with my voice, but I want to take one word right now. I want to take the word hello, just the word hello. And I want you, every time you hear it, I want you to listen. I want you to receive it. And we're just going to go in a circle. Every time you hear it, I want you to say it in a different way, in a different way. What do I mean by different? It's up to you. So I'm going to pass it to Miss Anna. And Miss Anna, you're gonna pass it to Madison. And Miss Madison, you're gonna pass it to me. And we're just gonna keep going around a few different a few times. All right, let's begin. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello. Hello. Hello. Excellent. Hello. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Miss Anik, do it one more time. One more time. Hello. I uh, love it. I love it. I love it. And uh, I want to open this up to my friends here. Um, what uh, what are the different what are some different ways we can just we just altered our voice? What are some of the different ways we altered our voice in this activity? Yes, Miss Anna. We changed our pitch. We did. And indeed. by pitch, I mean uh, if your voice sounds way up high or your voice voice sounds way down low, that's pitch. Is what note? If your voice was an instrument, what note your voice is on? Mm -hmm. And Miss Madison, what did you notice? We changed volume. We did change volume. And I noticed that we also changed um, our speed. Sometimes how slow or how fast we, uh, we altered our voice. And my friends out there, what else did you notice? Did you notice anything else? You bring up a good point. No, that's true. So the way that we communicate can be um, just as subtle as changing our speed, our pitch, our volume. And I wanna move on right now. We're gonna go into that even more, but I wanna look at now breathing, specifically breathing. And it all starts in voice with breathing. Warning, warning, vocab alert, breathing. Warning, the diaphragm, warning. More vocab. <laughs> whoa, 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 vocab alert, vocab alert. Repeat after me, diaphragm. Diaphragm. Now, the diaphragm is the primary muscle <laughs> for breathing and has a dome-like shape. One of the most important parts of using one's voice is the diaphragm. And when we breathe in, the diaphragm, just below, just above our belly button, right below our lungs, flattens down into the abdominal cavity. And while we exhale, the diaphragm floats back upwards towards the lungs and resuming that dome shape. Very important that our chest and shoulders don't move when we breathe. So right now, just, just put your hands on your belly, right, right above your belly button. Put both hands there, put both hands. I want you to just relax and I want you to take a big deep breath in and big deep breath out. I want you to just experience that. So give a few breaths, give a few breaths and just feel your hands and try and make sure that we're not moving anything else. We're nice and relaxed. Our chest, our shoulders aren't moving. Because this muscle is under the lungs and it controls our breathing. Why is that important? Speaking from the diaphragm with a nice strong breath will make our vocal power even, even stronger. All right, so remember, we wanna be heard. So what I wanna do now is so relax yourself, relax yourself. And since we already, we're already used to having our hands on our bellies, put your hands back there. And remember, this is a safe space. So I want you to uh, think of this as if we are all Santa. I don't know why I said it like that, but Santa, all right? Either way, you know, some parts of the world say Santa, uh, but instead of a belly full of jelly, it's uh, a belly full of air. So I want you to take a nice big breath, fill up like, fill up that belly with air. Nice big breath. And I want you to say, ha. Ha, ha. And I want you to say it a few times. So take, take as many breaths as you need and take a big breath and say, ha. And I want you to see if you can feel where the diaphragm is. So one more time, ha. Ha, ha. And if you need to slide your hands up or down, around that belly area, just to find where that really that sweet spot is. Your stomach should move with each ha. Ha, ha. All right, now this time through, I want you to take, your stomach should move with each ha. So just try and find that spot. And now this time through, I want you to take a big, big breath, fill up as much as you can and say ha, 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 and keep repeating that until you run out of air. Go. Ha 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 
Ha, 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 And remembering we're breathing from our diaphragm. But this time through, as we fill up with air, we're going to remember where the support is. And we're going to now make a like a hiss. We're going to make a sound as we exhale. So remember, I want to be able to hear you. So take a big, deep breath in. Remember our diaphragm. And I just want you to it out. Ready? Big breath and hiss it out. Nice. Now, I want to see, I'm going to pull up this screen here so I can see the microphone for my friends here. And everyone watching, I want you to follow along, participate as well. We're going to have a little competition here. We're going to have a little competition. And if I keep seeing that microphone moving, uh, that means you're still hissing. The second I, I don't see it anymore, uh, well, we know someone's done hissing. So give me a thumbs up if you're ready, my friends. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. And yes, you too at home. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, I'll come up with a prize. I'm sure I'll come up with a prize. Um, and take a big deep breath in. Take a big deep breath in. Remember <clears throat> our support from our diaphragm. And ready. And set. And hiss it out. My kitten doesn't like this. <laughs> She's looking at me like this. And sound of applause for Miss Madison. The sound of applause for Miss Madison. Fantastic. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. The person at home is still hissing. I had a prize for you and everything, Miss Madison. Darn. What's well, okay. Please, uh, we will be sure to mail your prize to you. Um, just make sure that right now, at this very moment, you tweet us. So um, we will have that sent to you. Um, Osper expires in the, the next 30 seconds. All right, and moving on. Uh, cool. And now, my friends, I just wanted to share real quick, uh, one more time, a picture of what exactly our diaphragm actually looks like, where we are in our body. So right here is our diaphragm, right? I, I don't know if you can see my cursor right here. We can. Our diaphragm is right here, and it pushes up from our breath support and out our mouth. And that's really all I just wanted to share. I just wanted to get an idea because for the longest time, I didn't know where it was either. I thought, just take a big deep breath into your chest and that's where all it comes from. But no, it all is connected. I'm gonna stop sharing there. All right. And now we're on to part two. So right now, can you all repeat after me? Phone Nation. Phone Nation. Phone Nation. Not to be confused with my favorite restaurant in San Francisco, but Phone Nation. Phonation. Phonation. Now, phonation is a creation of vocal sound or um, vocalization. An actor uses her voice to build uh, the character with certain considerations. And I'm just going to go through these, and I'm going to go in depth into each one. But repeat after me: pitch, 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 pace, 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 tone, tone, tone. volume, volume, volume. And we're going to take in consideration these categories. Um, but pitch is the highness, or I should say the highness, or lowness, lowness of your sound. Pace is going to be the speed of your, uh, uh, speed of how you talk, of your speech, uh, fast or slow. Tone is going to demonstrate your mood or intention, what you're trying to get across. And volume is how loud or how quiet you are. So what I want to do now is I want to take just this line of dialogue. I want you to say, hello, my name is. You're going to tell me, I feel, fill in the blank. And you're going to say, and I really want. 
So let me see if I can get this. So hello, my name is, for example, Mr. Brian. I feel great and I really want tacos. All right, but now I wanna, I wanna really change this. I wanna change the pitch of this. I wanna change the pitch to be high, to be really high. I set myself up for this one, didn't I? <laughs> Crushing it, Mr. Brian, hang in there. <laughs> Hello, my name is Mr. Brian. And I really want tacos. All right. It's a different voice. It's a different voice entirely. And now, Miss Anna, I want you to play with pitch and I want you to give me that same set of words. And uh, hello, my name is, I feel, and I really want, can you give me that in a low pitch? Hello, my name is Miss Anna. I feel fantastic. And I really want a chocolate cupcake. Dig it, dig it. You see, it's, a, it's the same speech, but just communicated differently. Now, pace, pace your speed of pitch. Miss Madison, can you give me the same one? Can you say that really, really fast? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna say. <laughs> nope, first up, Esther, here we go. Hello, my name is Miss Madison. I'm feeling really excited and I really, really, really want tacos. <laughs> I wasn't stealing, it's true. I know I I did steal it because I was inspired by tacos um and now uh, we could also do it slow so hello my name is Mr. Brian and I feel and I want tacos Totally different, right? Totally different. Um, I was hanging on every word, Mr. Brian, even though I knew it was I, I felt like the years were going by. But now let's, uh, let's take into consideration, I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to flip this around. Let's take into consideration volume. So uh, let's flip this. So Miss Madison, can I have you actually give this to me loud? Your uh, same line, but loud. How loud? Is it loud? Okay. Hi, I'm Miss Madison. I'm feeling fantastic and I really, really want tacos. Excellent. Excellent. And Miss Anna, can you give me with the volume of quiet? Hello, my name is Miss Anna and I'm feeling wonderful and I really, really want chocolate cake. Awesome. So awesome. Cute. And my friends, for this last one, um, I want to explore tone. What What is like your mood, your emotion or feeling? Um, and since we already know what we want, how does that make us feel? I want you to take a second, scratch your chin. How does muffins or tacos or whatever it is you came up with, how does it make you feel? Happy, sad, angry? It, have some sort of importance to it, have some sort of importance to it because you chose it. And if you wanna switch it up, go for it as well. Awesome. Now, the reason I wanted to wait till the end to do tone is because I want to now transform it to some characters, transform it some characters. So keep that same intention. So yes, give me a I didn't think you'd do that, but I love it. I don't know why you now, this time would think we wouldn't do it. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What um, an odd thing for Miss Madison and me to not want to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, this time through, I want you to look at the category. I'm going to pull it up one more time. So we have, I'm going to repeat it. Pitch, the highness or lowness, pace, the speed, the volume, and tone. Uh, how you're feeling, your mood or intention. And there we go, there we go, there we go. I keep saying there we go, but we're not going. There we go. There we go. There. And now I want you to say that same line. I want you to choose right now, take 10 seconds. High, low, fast, slow, mood, and volume. 
And now I want you to do that same line as if you were a pirate. Yes, as a pirate. Miss Anna, you look like you're ready to go. So I would love to do this as a pirate. We added a lot of things. Okay. So I have a question actually. Am I, I, I had picked the pitch, the pace, the tone and the volume of my own self. And now I'm adding pirate onto that. Yes. Oh boy. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Arr, my name is, oh boy, I have to start up <laughs> And folks at home, sometimes you got to start over. That's that's how it rolls. Sometimes you make a choice. It's not <laughs> all right, all right, I'm ready because I was going to do something different. Arr, my name is Miss Anna. I'm feeling wonderful, and I really want chocolate cake. Let's give it a, a song of applause to Miss Anna. Yeah. All right, and. Um, Miss Madison, um, this time through, I would love it if you could, um, I know I said pirate, but you got, you have your choices, your pitch, your pace, your volume. I would love it if you would uh, give me a sloth, a sloth. <clears throat> Fantastic. Sorry, I'm applause to Miss Madison. Miss Madison. And um, friends, I, I could not do this unless I did it myself. So um, Miss Anna or Miss Madison, whichever one of you, give me, give me a character. Give me some sort of creature, animal, character. A um, dinosaur. Uh, oh, a dinosaur. Specifically, a pterodactyl. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, here we go. Hey, my name is Brian. I'm here with you. I'm your friend. Yeah. All right, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and friends, thank, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I took everything and keep that together. Um, and you out there, yes, you. You got yours chosen. You got your pitch, pace, volume, and tone. All right. And now I want you to do this. What should they do this as, Miss Anna? I picked dinosaurs. So, Miss Madison, what do you think? A seagull. Ooh. <laughs> Good A one. seagull. All right. Hi, my name is I feel, and I really. Wait, no, that's not right. Not a seagull. Yeah, just kidding. A seagull. Sorry, that was a check off joke. <laughs> I really want. All right, and ready, set, go, friends. Nice, nice, nice. Bravo, bravo. I really love the pitch on that one. I really love the pitch on that one. All right, I'm going to stop sharing for a second here. And uh, all right, so we, uh, we talked about phonation, all right, right now. And I want to actually hit pause on this right now because we are going to continue with the next section in the next video. So before we do anything else, um, I want to review. We talked about phonation. We talked about breathing from our diaphragm. We, we, ex we went into, uh, well, we just, we really just got our feet wet with starting on voice. So right now, remember voice is all about being heard. And I want to check out right now by uh, just saying your I want you to sing your name and tell me how you're feeling as we exit class. So um, let me say Miss Madison. Are we singing or feeling too, or just our name? Just your name. You could say how you're feeling as well. 
I'm a sad person. And I'm feeling wild. Awesome, awesome, awesome thing. And Miss Anna. My name is Miss Anna, and I'm feeling fabulous. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is Mr. Brian, and I am feeling good. All right. And thank you, my friends. And we will continue with voice on the next video, which could just be a click away. But for me, it's a little bit longer. But until next time, like, love, and see you then.